Hey everybody, Dr. Oliver here, backintelligence.com. And today we're gonna to talk about one simple, easy thing that most people can do to help with their low back pain. Walking. Walking is a very easy activity that generally produces less low back pain in people. So there's multiple studies that have been done on the topic, but majority of them show that people that walk tend to have less low back pain. One study in particular showed walking 30 minutes a day, three days a week, produce less low back pain in individuals they studied. So why is walking better? Why do we like walking? Well, walking's easy, right? Everybody can walk in general, and it's an easy activity, and it's low level, it's not too taxing on the body. So if we can get the body moving, get blood flowing, get muscles working, you're generally gonna see people be less tense and have less discomfort. It's also gonna stop you from sitting so much. We've talked about it before, but sitting is probably the most problematic position for your low back. And so if we can get you out of the sitting position and have you go for a short walk or get you just moving in general, it's gonna produce less back pain in individuals. Now, some individuals do get back pain from extended walking, and there's a, a specific reason generally for this. If someone isn't using their glutes effectively and they tend to extend their hip with their low back, we tend to actually see low back pain increase with walking. So if you ever do go for walks and you feel like your back pain starts to increase the longer you walk, you may be dealing with this. And this, you should look on the site for some glute exercises, the bridges, the clamshells, things we've talked about. So look at our other videos and you can see on ways to activate your glutes and therefore reduce your low back tension. But if you don't have this problem and you generally find walking feels good, do more of it. The more you walk, the better. You know, the goal for a lot of people should be those 10,000 steps a day. And if you start tracking it, use your phone. Most phones nowadays have simple trackers. You can use the wearable kind as well, but have a goal. If you, if you see that you're only walking 2,000 steps a day, don't make your goal 10,000. Start out with the goal being 5,000 steps a day and build up to the 10,000. The more you walk, generally, the better your low back will feel. So many people think walking isn't really exercise. Well, in fact, walking can be really good exercise, especially if you increase the pace slightly. But for someone that doesn't do a lot of exercise or hasn't been doing much actively or physically, simply starting to walk is a great way to get into that. So walking will activate a lot of muscles. If you do it properly with good posture and support, you're gonna turn on your core muscles. Again, if you're using your glutes effectively, they're gonna be worked a lot through the walking phase. And if you walk more, you're gonna activate some of those sp stabilizers for your spine, which again, can lead to less low back pain. So simple act of walking is actually a great way to exercise. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you like it, as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Also, research shows that uh, you need to strengthen your core if you want to alleviate some of that low back pain. Uh, and not only that, but you need to make sure that the exercises that you perform really target those deep core muscles, and you need to make sure those exercises are safe for your spine. Now, we have a free PDF that we'd love to send you with uh, some of the most effective and safest core exercises that you can do from your home. So if you'd like to get that PDF, there's going to be a link to it somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you that free PDF right away.